One could be saying this is a very happy family, but it's obvious whatever these people are doing, in as much as they are doing it for the game, but feelings has really ensued. Yes, seriously, because the way Mpumi's reaction yesterday, when she found out that Jared has something to do with else, because the three of them had a conversation in the midnight, around like 4 a.m. And why did you do that? She knows that she why did you do why that? Why did you do that? Why did you like five months? And I did. So I won't waste my time. Oh, energy. Trying to mend you. Fix you. Guys, this was a very long conversation. Very, very long conversation. And Papi was there with them. Okay. You know, earlier, Jared was in the kitchen with Liam. They had their own conversation before this one, you know, started. Okay. Now, from this whole conversation, it's almost like 20 minutes modern conversation. From this whole conversation, okay, I was able to deduce that Mpumi is a no-nonsense girl. And you see the things Leema Le is tolerating now, Mpumi wouldn't have. Because her reaction, when she discovered, when she found out that Jared has something to do with else, <laughs> she was you could it was written all over her face she was bitter she was so how did it start you know they were all just talking there because you know even uh, while they were having the and uh, uh, they call it their award stuff i think jerry was asked he, he he has been saying he can't choose between the both of them that because he loves both of them but he has said if they can't you know take it with him they should leave which i don't think they want to Okay, because you all get to hear that in this particular video. Okay, so Liema, they were just talking, and Liema said, Can you believe that this guy, the day my grandmother died, this guy had some shirts going on with else in the bedroom? And I caught them. Pumi was like, Pumi was shocked. Pumi was shocked. If I, she was even, Liema was just saying it and laughing, and like, Ha, oh, God. Poor Liema. She's just saying it and laughing. Pumi took it serious. Jared, why did you do that? She's not asking Jared, why did you do that? Because of, he did it because, you know, Liema's grandma died. He did, she, she's saying it because she's not happy that you're messing with somebody after me. So if Pumi had been the first one to like secure Jared initially, I don't think she would have tolerated any other. In fact, Jared wouldn't have tried it because yesterday, <laughs> you could see that she's the type that she won't take shit. She would not. So she was asking, why did you do that? That was when Lema said, why did you, you can even see Lema in her voice? Her own is not even serious. Ah, Lema over love this boy. You love Jerry. So Jerry was like, ah, oh, he was just trying to explain one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Oh my goodness. It didn't really sit well with her. She felt so mad. Like, why? So what's happened after that? Pumi was just interested. After the whole thing, what happened? What really? What did she say? What? Did, oh God! So that was when Jerry started narrating how the whole thing happened. How um they left the pool party. You know how they left. How they were had to go to the bedroom. Um how they were like in the room and no speed. How you know he was just shouting, and that was when he now said why. And I don't know if you guys noticed since yesterday and the first day that that thing happened to Pumi and Lema and I'm like, S hasn't been happy. Even when they were in the room yesterday, Jerry told him, um, if I win, you win. Like, he went, um, Pumi was telling Jerry that she wants to win. Jerry should win. Jerry said, my win is your win. You need to see Elle's face. Elsie's face was something else. Elsie has not been happy that she's been left out. Though so she's trying to do like, you know, she's not happy that, oh, Lema and Pumi have now come together and they're now riding with Jerry and she is like the rejected one. So you need to see Pumi's face. Pumi kept asking. So that was when Jerry told um, Pumi that... Ex was like, why would she be the secret one? Hey, it got some Pumi. Pumi were like, so what that means before she could say that you guys must have been doing something. What did you tell her before she would? Because she just can't come and say, why would she be the secret one? You must have said something. You must, ah, oh God. Jerry was just blabbing. He didn't really know what to say. And, you know, I said, oh my God, can you see now how it feels? Can you see how it feels that Liema had something going on with him? You came in, but you don't want somebody to come after you. Guys, is it possible? If 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 Jared, of course, there was a day Mpumi said, if Jared can, 
um, if Jerry can do this to Liema, he can also do it to her. They know what they are doing. They are playing the game. Just like Jerry told Lema in the kitchen, you know, we know we've done all sorts of all sorts of shit, but let's just let's just keep up with the game. Let's we are, we are here for a reason. So that two meal is not so it's better after all this shenanigans. You guys should make sure you go with the two meal because your dignity, you have it to protect. So, like they kept on talking and Jerry didn't really have a concrete thing to say. And Pumi felt hot. You could see it written all over her. And Pumi felt cheated. She felt what? She said, like, I don't even know. I'm just hearing this now. I don't even know about this. Guys, we are saying you just want to play game. You just want to have fun. There are feelings. And why she can't really, like, if she has a wish, she would have, like, Jerry, do I leave Liema? But she said that, no, she can't because Liema was there before her. So there is nothing she can do. But else... Maybe she felt that S thing we are just playing, but when she saw that it's getting deep, she's she like she can't take it. So Jerry, that was when Jerry told them that in fact if this whole thing is going to bring issue like the way it is and letting him be as if he's hurting people, both of them can't stay. He didn't really come direct. Where he said it directly was in their uh, words, like, yeah, both of them can leave. Okay. For the way he was just blabbing, you know, he wasn't going straight. He wasn't hitting the nail on the head. He was just talking, letting it be as if he's hurting people. He's, he's just blabbing, you know, talking for like three minutes. At the end of the day, he said nothing. But the girls couldn't comprehend. I wouldn't say they did not comprehend. They did, but because he didn't come open. So um, later, Lema was like, she's not even getting what he's saying, even to pull me, like, what are you trying to say? That was when Papi came in. Papi trying, that was when Papi tried to help him out. And, you know, what he's trying to say is that um, he loves both of you. Guys, you guys deserve to see their faces when Jerry said he loves both of them same way, like, he really loves both of them. In fact, Liema's face was, Mpumi's face was like, Liema felt bad, okay? So you still love Mpumi. You know, Pepe P started explaining to them what Jared means. He loves both of you. And right now it's hard for him to choose amongst the both of you because he's just so much in love with both of you. But he doesn't know what to do. So it's even better that, you know, you guys stay away instead of losing one person <clears throat> it's better you guys leave and let him just be on his own jared has been passing this message to them but the girls have refused to go so now i'm understanding this is their storyline and they want to play that script very well because if they leave this storyline forming a new storyline it's gonna be effingly crazy. It's gonna be it's not gonna be easy because they have people have known them around this triangle storyline, so it's better they stick to it. So when Papi finished, you know, explaining to them what Jared meant, so that was when Jared now said, Yeah, if they can both of them can leave, then both of them said no. Like um, you know, they don't want to leave. Um Lema said, Well, we are both we are all adults. We are all adults, and everybody, you could see that mm. now they know that okay, this is where our game is revolving, so let's play it. But within them, it's not sitting on well with them. So it was later, um, when Emma wasn't even talking, what, what, what does she have to say? Because um, Pum is the one overshadowing them, overshadowing. and guys, you guys need to see how Jerry listens to Pumi when, he, when she's talking to him, like her dude, the fear and move. Hey, God have mercy. So that was when Mpumi started talking. Can you imagine that? Like, you're that loose. You're this. So you did all these things because, you, okay, you thought I was not going to find out. But I did. I, I believe you guys heard it. That she has tried so much. That it, she wouldn't even have that. Thank God she didn't know. Even if she had known, she wouldn't waste her energy and her time. Trying to trying to talk to him, trying to tame him, trying to fix him, trying to mend him. She was just like saying that Jerry, she once told Jerry that he's like a bicycle. Anybody can come ride. That any girl can just can't have him. Any ah, oh, she said so many things. And then I was just there laughing. <laughs> I said, okay, you can feel the pain. You you are being. I don't want to use a word here. You're feeling the pain because the man you think is so much in love with you 
was seeing another person, but you took him from somebody else. You guys are too. He was seeing somebody else and they were cool and you came in. But you don't want another person. You're feeling so hot because else came in. You brought else into the picture. So why are you feeling hot? Lema was just all relaxed because at this point, Lema is not even given. At least I don't want drama. At this point, I've accepted it. At this point, let me maintain my storyline. At this point, I love this guy genuinely. But with all his um inadequacies, with all his... um imperfections and whatever i still love him that way so that is why lema is accommodating you tolerating you but with impome is not sitting well you needed to see the way she was talking to jared guys like she was so hot she was so bitter she was ah why how can you do that so you want to have every girl you want to do this you want uh and Jared made it clear. You could see that Jared is not even as serious with any of these persons. He might have sore spot for Liema. He might really love Liema. But at this point, he's even breaking him down. Please. He doesn't want to. And this this thing, he has sent it outside right there. After all, tomorrow, they will say, okay. After all, I told you guys, you can leave. But they refuse to leave. So now, anything Jared does, they shouldn't blame him. Because he has given them that option of leaving. You can leave. And both of them don't want to leave. They want to stick there. Because they believe it's that storyline. So later on, Pumi said, I know what to do. Lema was sure. Lema looked at her like, what? She said, no, don't worry. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know how to go about it to get my own way. I know what to do. But you do what you want. I can't waste my energy doing this, doing that, that. Ah, ah. Hey. See, Sai Chico, come carry, come out, uh, uh, first wife. Coletta, still can't join. Then another person wants to you are, see how you are feeling. Then, as I was watching it, I was like, Kai, Polly, Emma, you are feeling this way when you snatched somebody from another person. Then another person, it's not that you you snatched it. The person still accepted you. Now, because your man had something to do with somebody, see how hard, see how bitter, see how hot you are feeling. So, guys, I don't know. When they finished that last night, Jared moved on. He left and was going to his bed. Lema was not asking him, is, is he going to sleep on his bed? He said, yes. Lema said, can I come join you there? He said, yeah, sure. You both can come. That was how both of them still slept on the same bed, like the previous night. So, at this point, Jared has freed his head. I don't free you now. I freed you girls. You guys can go, but they don't want to go. He has said it openly, even the award when they were asking him, how can you be two with two women, you love them, but he has given them option of leaving. They don't want to leave. So I don't think this time around, we are all going to start dragging Jared again. No, 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 no. They don't want to leave. So to them now, they are playing a game. Let's just be revolving around this drama and storyline and see what happens. But with Mpume, ha, no, 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 no. The girl is not finding it funny. She's not finding it funny that Jared messed up with Els. I never knew she never knew all this while. And finding out is for her to say i can't waste my time trying to mend you fix you like she has been talking to him about some things but ah god have mercy this is what we see in the in the outside world you take it from her you don't want to feel the other you didn't feel the other person's pain but if another person is coming after you you start feeling the pain well let me know what you guys feel about all these guys because i really want onyx comments or his opinion let me know what you guys feel about this whole drama Jared has feel has freed Lema and Mpumi, but they decide to still stick with him. So whatever he does, and saying Jerry will not add another person to them, mm, that's really, really hundred percent. He can add any other person he wants. When I saw him give chairs I peck or I was shocked. So uh, right now, the thing is really overwhelming him, but it's just that he doesn't know what to do because they are still in that house. If he were outside, probably would have just told both of them to go. Stop taking their calls. Stop the should not visit him and set that boundary as well. That's all that for that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.